I, I, I want to say this too, and, and I kind of, uh, you know, I kind of said something about Meltzer right there. You know, anytime Shivani was doing a pay per view, it was shitty. Uh, and I did that tongue in cheek. But I think we all realized back then that Dave Meltzer, and probably even so today, had a profound influence on the business. Yeah. I know he I know at times he probably would say now nah, I really don't I, I'm kind of like a I'm just a critic you damn right it, it was like having a we were like Hollywood or, or let's say uh, Broadway producers uh, coming to having our opening night and then the next night thumbing to the New York Times to see what the uh, what the opinion was on the show what right. the critics thought about it I mean Meltzer's opinions back then really really had a profound impact on the business. Uh, and, uh, I'm sure he knows that, uh, but be that as it may, there was a lot of really, really hard work that went into these shows, really hard work. And, and a lot of good people put a lot of time and effort into it. So when Meltzer would say the next day, it was a shit show at that time, we would all kind of go, Oh man, what the fuck? You know what they, you know, he doesn't like us. Fuck him. Shit like that. And now here we are flash forward 20 years later and I look at it and say, Oh, that motherfucker was right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, Oh my God. I gosh. just want to throw that out. But he, he did. He had a profound Im- impact on it. And, uh, you know, I mean, the boys read all the stuff. I know Eric did. Uh, I did. I wasn't a subscriber, but it was always kind of passed around. Uh, and, um, and so that's the way uh, things went back then. 